today is the day we're gonna work on the trailer. So I had some neighbors go ahead and get the boat off the trailer for me, so I'm unable to. They're gonna help me pretty much fabricate this trailer and get the wood in installed. Get the old wood off, put the new wood on, and then carpet it. Should go pretty good, pretty smooth. I'll probably have them do all the heavy lifting. I'll be doing all the measurements, and I'll show you as I get through step by step. There's really not much to it, really. Here, I'll show you real fast. So, really, it's just uh, running boards down here. I'll probably have to drill, what, two, four, six holes into the trailer. So, all the, like, the little tie-down points. Um... I'll put, a, I'll put a bolt on the bottom board and then I'll put two by fours up on top and just uh, use the uh, outdoor screws and screw them down. And then I'll take carpet, put it on top of the running boards and secure the carpet down with staples. So shouldn't be too hard. Should only take probably about an hour. The thing that take the longest is probably cutting all the wood and measuring everything. So should be pretty easy, but let's get to it. We got the old wood off. As you can see, a lot of it was dry rotted. We got the three boards cut. And what I'm gonna do now is drill um, a hole on each side and then turn around and tap the, uh, tap the trailer and then drill the hole in the trailer to be able to put, put in the bolts. So I got the bolts down. Went ahead and drilled them into the trailer and got the nuts on the bottom. So next, I'm gonna cut the two by fours uh, to the side and make the actual bunk boards for it. Got her screwed down. Now what I did here, made sure I married it up, had to cut this board at an angle, so that one's straight, shooting at that board. <clears throat> on this back side here, I took the edge off of it, cut it like a 45, so that way you're just not hitting a block of two by four, so straight on. So it should give it a little bit of guide. But we'll go ahead and uh, get the carpet on her now. There you have it. Trailer is good. So the only thing I won't bore y'all on, I'm gonna tidy up these uh, these wires. I went ahead and checked those, make sure that they're uh, not like you know cut into or anything like that. So I went ahead and ran my fingers across all of them, but they're good to go. I just gotta use some zip ties and tie them all back up, get them all nice and tidy. As you can tell, it's another hot, humid one today. We've got the we got the boat back on here, so I'm gonna have to fix what I did on the seat belt uh, for the winch. So because when you, sorry, my hand keeps getting in the way. Um, when you go to cinch it down, it doesn't want to. It's not caught, so it's pretty much like free spooling. So, but the, I mean, that's a super easy fix. It'd take me a couple minutes just to figure it out and get it latched down. Now, the other things that I fixed on the trailer, um, I'll flip around the camera here. So I moved this ground wire. Um, it was further, further back here. It's probably back behind this thing. So this right here was slid forward. This wire was going all the way back here. So I shortened it up. Um, went ahead and drilled out a hole big enough uh, where the screw could go ahead and catch. And then, so if you've ever put one of these on your trailer before, there's two different ways you can do it. You can have it this way going along the trailer or you can have it going the way that I have it. So either you can have it this way or that way. So this is for like if you have a bigger, um, a bigger trailer uh, the other way is for obviously the smaller, the smaller frame. So I went ahead and adjusted that so that way the, uh, it's not, you know, canted on me. And I went ahead and cinched it back down. Uh, like I said before, I went back through the wiring and made sure that the wires are good because I don't want to get it pulled over and get a ticket for, you know, the brake or the turn signal not working. The other thing I got to get for it is a lock for the latch so that way when it's latched on a vehicle i can lock it and somebody won't steal the trailer on me as for that i mean the trailer's pretty much good i got tie downs um to be able to tie it down in the back to keep the uh, rear end of the boat uh cinched down to the trailer i want to say it's pretty much pretty much 100 percent complete just little things 
So one thing I am working on is getting this mud motor up and going. As far as finding parts for it and everything, there is no actual like brand name, model number or anything like that. So um, I might end up letting it go or I might keep it around just in case if the boys end up uh, wanting a go-kart or something like that, I can slap it onto a frame, buy it off the marketplace and save a little bit of money. But So I might, I might end up keeping it here at the house, but I did end up getting this. So Harbor Freight was having a sale. Um, I ended up getting this engine for like, I wanna say like a hundred bucks. So, cause they ended up giving me a military discount on top of their sale that they were having, but it's a 6.5 horsepower, uh, 212 CC. So that's what a lot of guys use on their mud motors. Now, the reason why I bring this up, so this frame, I had to cut off this piece to be able to let the motor fit. I'll probably have to drill uh, different holes in here. So because the motor fits a lot closer um, than the last one. So I'll end up having like the front hole right there. And then the back hole will probably be in the middle of these. But those holes do line up um, to the front right above the, uh, the shaft. Now, if you notice here, there's no tube, no prop now. So I'm having a machinist actually make me a drive shaft for it. So that way it marries up with the motor like perfectly and they're machining the end of it as if I bought the actual drive shaft from like, you know, one of the mud motor, uh, one of the mud motor places. But he told me that it's going to be a while, uh, before you can get it because he's going to have to order, um, the cold rolled steel. I don't know anything about metal. So, um, he's ordering that. It's like three quarter inch and they're gonna machine down the end of it so that way the prop uh, goes all the way up in there. They're gonna cut like a keyway um, because the prop has a keyway. And then on the end of it, they're gonna uh, thread it. So it's gonna be one solid piece. It's not gonna be like multiple pieces. The, uh, the only way to be able to attach it is, this is the wrong size, so I have to take it back to Royal King, but it's pretty much two pieces like this and they have like a plastic piece that fits in the middle. It's like a bushing. And this one, well, if it was the right size, would hook to the motor. And the other one is uh, connected to the shaft and they pretty much meet up with each other. So that way, if I ever wanna take it off or uh, have to do some maintenance or something like that, it's like super easy. I can just disconnect it. You know, it's got like the little uh, Allen key uh, keeper and then it's got the keyway cut in it. Hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm saying all that right. I think it's the keyway. All you do is have to disconnect those and I can pull it out from the back end. And then as for the prop, it's too easy. Just undo the bolt and then knock the, uh, the prop loose and I can swap it out for you know different sizes. But as for the motor build, um, once I get back the shaft, I'll pretty much show you me marrying up the, uh, the drive shaft with the engine and then we'll fire it up and then I'll probably end up, hopefully I'll have my truck by then. I'm still waiting on a, uh, that's gonna be a surprise video. I do have a, we ordered a truck and we've been waiting now almost 10 months uh, for it because Ford is being difficult. But once we get it, I'm gonna drop it in the water and that's gonna be all in the same video with the engine. But next, so if you've been watching this video this entire time, the next video more than likely is gonna be the hit of the boat build. So. I'm gonna be building the, the blind for it. It's gonna be the scissor blind, and hopefully the way I do it um, will kind of make sense and outshine some of the other ones that you've seen. Because I've watched probably, I wanna say about 60 different builds on YouTube, and I've combined all the things that I like, and I took out all the things that I didn't like, and I'm gonna make it my own. So if you like it, you can copy it. You don't have to give me credit, but it would be cool if you did. So, but anyways, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, comment if you haven't already. Let me know where you're watching from, what state, and uh, smash the, subs the subscribe button. That would be awesome. So, but until then, I've been Chris, Duck Lope Outdoors. Y'all stay safe out there.